Alrighty, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video over my favorite Talese Zodiac signs. Um, now y'all know how much I fuck with Zodiac signs. Like, you, you basically can't talk to me unless I know your sign. Like, and you know what? I'm not for real. I'm just playing, but for real though, like, I love me some Zodiac signs. Like, I just love stereotyping people, basically. Boop. Okay, so let's get right into the video. Okay, so the way I organized it is I did water, earth, fire, and air. And from there, I basically, first of all, I want to point this out. Look at that, y'all. How I put zodiac signs. I'm so dead. Bitch can't write, bitch can't read, bitch ain't got no, bitch is illiterate. Um, I'm playing. <laughs> y'all, okay, so let's start off with water. Okay, so my least favorite of the water element would have to be a Pisces. Y'all, I honestly feel like Pisces men are whores. I feel like they're man whores. Um, they're more than likely married man whores. I, I tend to find that out. A lot of the married men that try to talk to me are Pisces men. Um, they be old. They be old. They be married and they be hoes is what they be. Okay? They be liars. Alright? As far as the females go, they be some sluts too. I don't know how else to say I don't know how else what else to say I don't know not all of them are of course but I just honestly feel like the Pisces species is kind of like you know on the slutty side in my opinion um and that's just my opinion y'all not 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 too much on me and my lashes and my glasses either okay because uh this wasn't a good idea but um I'm thugging it out say a cancer would be my favorite out of the water elements um they're very just sweet people i love cancers they're sweet people and well they can be crazy i'm not gonna lie to you they can't be crazy because this is one girl she gave me big sister vibes and that bitch turned out to be crazy okay that bitch she thought i wanted her man but her man wanted me and then on top of that he wanted everybody else in the metroplex like he was like humping and sucking and thugging on everybody but bitch you coming at me and I want him, bitch. I don't want your man. That bitch was crazy. But um, as far as that goes, that's a whole nother story, y'all. That's a whole nother story time. All right. But anyway, moving on. I don't know much about Scorpios. I'm sorry. Um, we're just gonna have to wait until I get some more. <sighs> some more. I need to go outside more so I can meet some more Scorpios. I don't know too many. I probably know one or two or three, but I can't think of any right now. Uh, y'all cool people. Y'all chill or whatever. Okay, so moving on to the earth signs, y'all. Okay, so um, my favorite earth sign would have to be a Capricorn. I love me a Capricorn because they all about their money. They stay about their money. They some money makers. Like, I fuck with a Capricorn. I would definitely fuck with a Capricorn. Like, all about their money makers. They money makers, they funny as hell. I feel like they would be great husbands for me, personally. The females are funny as hell, okay? Capricorns are funny as hell, all right? Like, they're my favorite out of the earth signs. Like, I love me a Capricorn. As far as a Virgo goes, that's my least favorite because Virgos can be very much, um, they can be horse too. They just keep it on the low low. You know what I'm saying? A fun fact about a Pisces and a Virgo is that they are, um, they are the polar opposites. They're opposites, right? So the Virgo comes off like very like prudish and very like, um, stuck up, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, like lady in the streets type shit, and then you got like the Pisces, it's like the freak in the sheets, but they're opposites, right, so it's like they still embody the same, you know what I'm saying, they still embody the same vibes within one another, they're just opposites, so it's like when a Virgo get behind closed doors, they can be real freaky, they can be hoarse just as much as the Pisces can, just the Pisces don't hide it as much, the Pisces will just be out there, you know, letting their freak leg fly, basically. That's the difference. Um, but yeah, a Virgo can definitely get on my nerves. A Virgo will get on my nerves. Like, I don't like Virgos. I'm not even going to hold you. I don't like Virgos. Um, as far as a Taurus go, a Taurian is cool. Y'all cool people. I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah. 
Moving on to the fire signs, y'all. Okay, so I wrote something down for all of the fire signs. That just proves that I fuck with all of the fire signs. Well, not all of them. Um, let's start with the Aries. I honestly feel like an Aries can be very fucking clingy. Like, an Aries can be clingy. A Aries can be clingy. Like, I had a female friend, and she was an Aries. And before her, I actually had a co-worker who was an Aries, and she was, like, clingy as well. Like, I don't know. Y'all can be kind of clingy to females. Like, y'all be treating friendships like they're relationships, which is fine. A friendship is a relationship. It's a friendship. It's a type of relationship. But, um... I know one friend, like, she would get upset if she didn't talk to you all day. Like, it would, like, it would be a problem if she didn't talk to you all day. Like, dead ass. As far as the men go, one tried to pull one over on me. Like, the nigga had a whole girlfriend, and he thought he was finna try and, you know what I'm saying? Try and fuck with me, he had a whole bitch. No. So, I don't know. I don't like Aries too much. As far as Leos go, I love me a Leo. I love me a Leo, y'all. Y'all can be crazy. Leos are crazy, and I'm not even gonna hold you. Leos are crazy. Leos are crazy. Like, Leos like Leos are crazy. But guess what? They're also passionate, cool people. And that's why I fuck with them. They're passionate, they're cool. They just chill, they lay back. It's the females and, and the males. Like, they just, they cool as fuck. And that's why I fuck with them. As far as Sagittarius... The Sag, the Sag, the Sag. Um, yeah, they're cool people too. I think they're very funny. They have a dry sense of humor. Sagittarius people have very dry sense of humor, and it's funny to me because I like watching shit like The Office. Like that's hilarious to me. So think about the Sag in The Office. Like that's they that goes hand in hand. Dry ass. I'm trying to say dry ass sense of humor. That's what I've been trying to say this whole time. Dry ass sense of humor. Okay, they tend to be very um serious people, and they tend to be dry. My dad is a Sagittarius. That man don't laugh. I could tell a joke. He's not going to laugh. Okay. Um, maybe something funny to him. I rarely see him laugh, but when he laughs, he gon' hee hee ha ha. Last but not least, we have the air element. Let's start off with an, an Aquarius. So, I love Aquarians because they are nice, gentle, and funny people. Y'all will find out that everybody's funny to me, y'all, because I love to motherfucking laugh. I love to laugh, y'all. Excuse me, but yes. So, I think Aquarians are just very nice. Um, they're very generous. They're like warm, soft-hearted people. And I love me in Aquarius. Like my sister is one, my brother is one, I have a very close friend that's one. My granny is one. Oh my gosh, she is the nicest lady on earth. Um, yeah, I love me in Aquarian. Um, as far as the Gemini goes, they're funny as well. I think Gemini people are so funny. Like, y'all, they are so funny to me. So funny to me. Like, oh my God. You know what? Pause. Let's let's go down the line, the funny people line. We got Aquarians, okay? They are hilarious as hell. Capricorns are hilarious as hell, okay? Gemini people, they are hilarious as hell, all right? Who else is funny? Oh my God, Sagittarians, funny as hell. Like, those are probably the top four funny-ass zodiac signs. There you go, boom. I just gave y'all a little mini-segment right there. Just gave y'all a little mini-segment. A little mini-segment. The funny, the funny zodiacs. Okay, boom. So, let's keep it moving. Y'all said that Gemini people are crazy and that they're two-faced. I mean, I don't know about all of that, but I do know that they're funny. And they tend to be really honest. They're not going to lie to you. I know that, too. Um... As far as Libra goes, they some liars. A Libra gonna lie to you. Just because I always say Libras be lying, don't think that other signs don't be lying either. No, a Leo will lie to you. Okay. A Sag will as well. A Pisces will lie to you as well. And so will a Libra. A Libra will lie their ass off to you, okay? They take all day. 
okay, to, to do what the fuck they need to do. They take all day. I don't know if they be procrastinating or what, but they will take all day, okay? But one thing about a Libra is they are ride or die. They are ride or die, because my best friend, he a Libra, and that nigga will ride or die, I'm telling you. Be sure to comment, subscribe, like, send me some messages on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you want to. Um, give me some new video suggestions or whatever the case may be. And y'all yeah, be sure to thumbs up. Bye.